Big day, Declan. Yeah. Big day. <laughs> Like, yeah, Glenn, talk me through what's happening today. Some other way. I'm competing and I don't know how I'm going to do and my head hurts and I don't know if I'm going to be able to land my stuff because my head hurts. Okay, that mumble jumbo yeah. is Declan's competing in his first yeah. kiting event! Woo! This is Rob and I'm Rachel and these are our boys, Finn, Declan and Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Javelo across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. This is Declan. Declan loves kiting and he's entering his first kiting competition at the end of the week. As a family, we've got a lot of kites, but Declan has to share them with everyone. He wants his own kite. Truth be known, most of our kites are secondhand. Declan wants his own kite, a brand new kite. He wants a North Orbit, ridden by the winners of the last two, King of the Air, championships. I don't have a problem with Declan getting a new kite, but I do want him to learn the value of money, so he's going to have to help pay for it, which means he's going to have to get a job. And for every dollar he puts in, we'll put in a dollar too. There's only one problem. Well, it's two problems really. It's an age old conundrum. The kites we have are good, but they're not great. And Declan's ability is good, but it's not amazing. Is a new expensive kite going to improve his ability? I don't think so. I don't know, I mean it could. Like, it might give me a little confidence boost and it is just quite a nice kite, so. What's the other problem though? The problem is this. We're nautical nomads. We're constantly on the move as we sail from one anchorage to the next, trying to circumnavigate the world. So we're never anywhere long enough for Declan to get a job. Except now, we're in a marina and people are often looking for a little helping hand to get a job done so they can get back in the water quickly. Declan's going to go and look for some part-time work, some casual work to try and earn him a buck or two. That's the closest I'm allowed. He's over there looking for some work. I've got to stay here. I'm not allowed any closer. The boy is doing the job, asking for work. Oh, he's coming back. His head isn't high. I got a job. You got a job? Yep. Cool. Declan, you have a wadge of money there. I do. And I have a wadge of money here. How much did you make? 550. I have got the corresponding 550. Only problem is, competition was yesterday and you didn't have the kite. No. How much was the kite? 1300. Just a little over 1300. Just a little over that. And we discovered there would also need to be lines bought for that kite, which was an extra what? Oh, I didn't actually check, but I'd say 600. Another 600, okay. So we're basically about $800 short. short. 
Did you need the kite? It's tough to say. Maybe, maybe not. Would you say that possibly what you needed more was more training? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I could go for some more training. So you did really good because you were probably the least experienced oh. there. Do you still want the kite? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a bit, but I also want to keep my money. So. Well that's true. And if you keep adding to it, and we keep adding to it, you've got a little way to go. You've got some work next week. Yeah. So there may be a kite in the future. One further question, Declan. What was the kite that you wanted? North Orbit. What kite was the winner riding? A North Orbit. Howdy folks, this is real time yesterday Rob, because this is going to air tomorrow. Um, so you are right up to date with the latest happenings. Rachel has been doing an editing course and that was her first assignment that you've just watched there and as a consequence of the course kind of just didn't quite have time to edit the normal episode uh, but that will resume next week and that is from Coral Bay we actually spent Declan and I spent a week um, kiting at a place called Rockingham and it's just an amazing spot and I even actually got up and about on the kite board properly for the first time I've been mucking around a little bit at Coral Bay previous but really I kind of got going proper and my posture on the kite board was less going to the toilet and more leaning back by the end of the week's you training. You like to think that it was. I like to think that I was. Here's one little uh, moment where I impressed the crowd. Don't walk. But Declan, for real, did impress the crowds. He did the um, first heat, and unfortunately in the first heat he had a bit of a brain fade and he was lining up for his circuits, they go around in circuits, and he said, I was sitting waiting for my turn, I could literally not think what move I'm gonna do next. And he's got a list of things he can do, you've seen him. And he, you know, and he was second in that first heat, if he'd won he'd gone straight through the semi. But actually he did make the third round, and in the third round he actually had some really good jumps. And arguably, he was unlucky not to get through to the semi finals um, after that third round. Is that a fair call? No, that's not a fair call. That's not a fair call, okay. No, that's, that's not a fair call. I love him, he's great, but the people there were oh, better. And the little guy who won it deserved it. He was excellent. Oh, he, was he was 13. Incredible, and this he guy, was this young kid. It was great to watch. We, we, we loved it. We every really of it. enjoyed it. And, and, uh, and, and they could do too. One really cool bit was when he had that wipeout. But let's also look at the angle that I took it from. Rachel was one end of the beach and I was at the other end. This is my end. By the way, big milestone, 14,000 subscribers. Thank you, we love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for hanging out with us and spending your time with us, watching all our adventures. All right. Great to have you on board. Thank Dinner you very much. Week. If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps. Come on in.